Good morning and good morning to the viewers. I can only imagine when we're talking about improved um, exports and we're talking about uh, bigger numbers, it also bodes well for the industry, for job creation, and, and that's really what it's about, isn't it? Yes, it's definitely about that, because the more we sell, we manage to make money and then we can employ more people, especially in this, as we've been through the financial crisis. When we talk about, and, and we've always and constantly talked about the quality of the South African wines, um, but what is not common knowledge is what distinguishes, distinguishes us from all the other winemakers across the world. Yes, let, if we look back, uh, the quality of the South African wines has improved amazingly. Uh, previously, uh, our wines were not known worldwide. And all of a sudden, the, that has changed. Uh, because of these young winemakers coming on board who likes to experiment with different um, cultivars and also who are looking at the world and competing um, with the other countries. And that has actually changed um, the way we make wine. And also young winemakers that go more abroad to actually see what the other countries are doing in terms of winemaking. And that brings more... Um, to say it brings more ideas into the country. And in that way, our wine quality has improved. And also, not to put it aside, to put aside the marketing uh, strategies and the marketing plans that the wine industry has actually got more involved into. How do we, how do we need to look at this, uh, the success of this past year? Do we need to consider the fact that Europe's woes or is South Africa, as you've, one of the things you've just highlighted in the previous answer, is that South Africa is getting into its own. So is it mostly because you, Europe is, uh, the market is, the, is not doing that well? Or is it that the rest of the world understands the quality and the processes that are going into producing South African wine now? It is a combination of, of, of all the other um, things that are happening in the wine industry. Um, the, the, the world now knows that South Africa produces wine. The world understands that South Africa is making good quality wine. And if you look at the price point, for the, quality that we, for the quality we are making and the price we are giving, actually they are buying our wines at a very cheaper price compared to what they could get in Europe. And also the fact that obviously Europe has struggled in terms of they had their low production and we tapped into that. And if you're looking at France, in terms of marketing, France has been very relaxed. They've been laid back. And and like because of their name, they, they are known. And because of that, they forgot that actually, if you look at the, at, the, at, at the world, people want to know. They want people to talk to them. And South Africa has made an effort and is doing that. And that makes the people outside in the world buy the, buy the wines. And so you talk me through trends. What are the trends currently? Um, the trends, what is happening currently is... If you okay, just going to talk in terms of the of, of the vineyard, some people are uprooting the, the the vines, and some people are planting the vines. But again, when you look at it in a sense that um, last year, in terms of production, France dropped uh, very much in terms of their production. Um, it was because of the weather condition. It was a very difficult uh, harvest. I think in my um, little lifespan as a winemaker. I've never had such a difficult harvest because I was harvesting there mm. uh, with the project that I'm doing, the winemaker's collection. I've never had such a difficult harvest. It was a difficult harvest and the production was low. And so they, in that way, they don't have a lot of wine for their 2013 production. And when you look at what we have here also in South Africa, um, the different cultivars, different cultivars, Chenin Blanc has been one of the bulk volumes that we have, but it hasn't been moving very well. The pinotages are those grapes that is what the, the world wants. It's like you talk to people, they're like, no, I'm looking for the pinotage. So now everybody tends to, tends to a point to move and say, okay, let's, let's plant this. That's what people are looking for. So there's other plantation and uprooting, planting and uprooting. So there's that, um, um, what is happening currently here. And Siki, unfortunately, we run out of time. Interesting conversation talking about it. Uh, just to note that Siki is one of only two or three black uh, female winemakers in South Africa. And she was born in KZN. Joining us, of course, uh, she's a winemaker at Stella Kaya in Stellenbosch, kind of uh, unfolding the facts, uh, the facts for us. South Africa's had an amazing uh, year in terms of industry exports in the wine industry. That's a wrap on the show here.